Hello, this is Alex with Grow How. This is one of the pairs that I had to remove the fire blight from last year. There's the other one right there. Two of them, I actually did three or four of them on the same property. You can see where I made the cut there. Now, you're not seeing a lot of really fast growing stuff up around the cut. If we go down further down on the tree, we'll see that those branches right there, those became fast growing suckers. Now, I did this late enough in the season, this tree may respond this year and send up a bunch of those shoots. I expect that it's what you have to do when you're trying to save a tree. And I had to take a lot out of this one. So I really expect a lot more growth on this. For right now, it's February. I'm gonna take out those, those water shoots, those suckers. And we're gonna see what this tree does for the rest of the year. If it uh, starts doing a lot, I may remove the ones I don't like as they grow. But since I took out so much, I'm gonna let the tree recover some of that size, or most of it actually, ultimately, because that's what trees do. They're not gonna just stay small because I tell them to stay small. If I start when they're small, sometimes I can keep them small. Now, I will note right here, it's a lot of damage. That's vertebrate damage, that's, that's from deer and elk. Uh, we don't even bring the mower quite that close to the tree, so I, I'm fairly confident that that's deer damage. It's not from this year though. Uh, ultimately, when this tree recovers from what it did last year, I wouldn't mind taking these branches out right here. I don't necessarily need them that low, but we'll see. And uh, keep it in mind, when you cut a tree severely, it's gonna try and recover and you, you've got to let it get back to the size it was or you're going to be out here every week trying to keep it small. Thanks, Manana.